Hello all, welcome back. In this fourth lesson, we will see the types of devices and network topologies. XB devices can be configured as three types of devices ZC coordinator, ZR router, and ZED end device. First one is coordinator ZC. There will be only one coordinator in a network which controls the whole network. It forms the root of network tree and might bridge to other networks. Coordinator initiates a personal area network PAN by selecting a RF channel and PAN ID. ZC also allows routers and end devices to join the PAN. Next one is ZR router which pauses data from other devices. Here the router can start operation only when it establishes connection, connection with a ZC. Routers are responsible for routing traffic between different nodes and routers may not sleep. It can send information, receive information and then relay information. It allows new nodes to join the network and uh, responsible for receiving and storing messages intended for their children. The third one is ZTD end devices. It join any existing PAN and uh, uh, it has just enough functionality to talk to the parent node C or or it can uh, it is eligible of sleeping a significant amount of time thereby giving long battery life next we'll see the topologies first uh, type of network topology is pair which is the simplest network with just two radios or nodes one node must be a coordinator and the other one can be a, a end device or a router the next one is the star topology which consists of a coordinator that is paired with two or more end devices since end points can talk only to their parent all end points are directly paired with central coordinator and the next one is the mesh network topology which uses router nodes in addition to its coordinator node and end points this router nodes can pass messages to other routers as well as to their child endpoints. In this topology, the coordinator is simply a special router that also maintains and secures the PAN. Self-healing is possible in this mesh network, so any device uh, uh, is off, another parent will take over. This is a mesh network. And the final one is cluster tree, uh, which uh, in this layout is similar to the mesh network. It employs coordinator and router to pass messages to one uh, another and to child end device. But the geometry of PAN is stretched out so that uh, parts of the network are outside the range of other parts of network. Under XCTU, if you check out the product family of S2C, it will be shown as XB24C and there are three function sets, 802.15.4, DigiMesh and then Zigbee TH. If you program the module for 802.15.4, it will show the as 802. And if you program the uh, ZigBee firmware, it will display as ZP uh, router or coordinator. Now let us see the IEEE standards. 802.15.4 is the IEEE wireless standard for uh, XBs. 802.3 is for wired network. 802.14 is for Wi-Fi. 802.15 is for personal area networks and 802.15.1 is for Bluetooth. In the same category, 802.15.4 is for WPA PAN and XP's work under this and frequency range is 2.4 GHz worldwide. ZigBee is advanced protocol of 802.15.4. Any ZigBee network will operate under a single channel there are total 16 channels from 0 to uh, hex f and under uh, each channel there will be devices and devices on same zigbee network must share the same pan id personal area network id the it may be 64 bit as well as 16 bit pan id and the devices uh, having different addresses must have the same pan id so all devices must uh, be under same channel and same pan id for every node in a network to operate in a single channel